Loring's of Hungary in the blue, and we are underway. Greco-Roman semifinal number one at 77 kilos. Just like we experienced last night, this place is lit up. We saw Hungary capture a goal with a 35-year-old late last night that sent this place into a frenzy. Loring's trying to get the same thing going early tonight in this semifinal round. This is a rematch of the world semifinals a year ago. So two straight years that Korea and Hungary have collided. Lawrence beat Kim in the world semis a year ago. Scramble sequence, no points awarded. Action continues as we hit the one minute mark in this first period. New rules this year in Greco-Roman and they have worked. We've seen a lot more points focus more on the feet. There's no required parterre in the two periods like we've seen in the past. We'll break out some of the other nuances and some of the new tweaks that the United World Wrestling has put in an effort to get more offense at this Greco-Roman division. The oldest style of wrestling. We started with freestyle, hard to imagine, eight days ago, and now here we are. The final six gold medals to be earned. Passivity is the call, and it's on the Korean Kim. So for the first time, we get to see Loreen's go into the parterre position. A three-time Olympic qualifier will look for a turn. Trying to get a firm grip, looking for a gut wrench as he tries to dodge his weight over to the right side of Kim's body. Now tries to catapult back over to the left. Still has that wrench. Now he's going to try to roll, but he can't get the job done. Solid parterre defense by Kim, and the two wrestlers return to their feet. That is a huge, huge bullet dodge by Kim Hyun Woo. Nothing, Hungary with the lead inside a minute to go in this first period. A missed opportunity on top in Parterre. We'll keep that in mind as we go deeper into the semifinal round. He's working on that two on one. He has Kim's right arm. Kim's able to clear the arm away. Looks for a slide by attempt. talked about Kim as an established veteran and it was so uncharacteristic a year ago when he placed seventh of the world championships. We're talking about a world champion. He won it all back in 2013. Won the London Games in 2012. He appears to be back in prime form here in Budapest. Warning issued to Kim with the fingers. That, too, has been a priority since we last talked in Paris. The fingers is the part of the sport they want to cut off. The interlocking of fingers, it slows down the action so much. So we've seen a number of cautions issued over the past couple of days. First period comes to an end, and a 1-0 lead for Hungary based on the passivity point. It's been somewhat of a light schedule this year for the 31-year-old Hungarian, a stellar veteran competitor, has shown no, show no ill effects of a light schedule. He's been banged up in a couple of different situations this year, but healthy and performing well like so many of his Hungarian teammates at these world championships in their home country. Second and final period underway. One nothing. Loring's with the lead. Keep in mind that Kim still might have an opportunity at parterre, even though it's not required. You'll likely see the official give him a chance on top as well. I think it's going to come right now, and it will. So there's the passivity call and the point. 
And one thing to keep in mind for both these wrestlers, no overtime in international wrestling. It's all determined by the criteria. And right now, that criteria is with Kim of Korea. So that means no matter what happens here, Lawrence is going to have to figure out a way to get some points in the closing two minutes and 18 seconds. And now, after a couple of warnings, Kim just blew his chance on top in parterre. Unexplicable. As far as the mistake by Kim he on Wu, he missed a chance because he was rushing in before the whistle. Incredible development here in Budapest. Boy, you miss a chance at parterre in time. You don't end up winning a lot of matches. Kim is going to have to do that now. He still has the criteria, though. Keep that in mind. Saw Lorene see banged in, cracked heads with Kim Hyun Woo. Looked like that one stunned him. The two ear to ear now. A lot of hand fighting. Lorene's with the left wrist of Kim. Kim trying to control off that two on one of the right arm of Tomash Lorene. Constant noise here in Pap Laszlo Sport Arena. Hungary has showed the tendency to pull off some late points. Passivity is called again, and a point for the Hungarian. Now this place goes nuts. Two passivity calls on Kim. Lawrence with a two to one lead. Each wrestler has been warned with the fingers. If that happens again, the next time it will be a caution and two points. Really a bizarre semifinal battle between these two veterans. Two passivity calls and then a missed opportunity on top for Kim. How is this one going to end? 25 seconds to go. Kim on the hunt. Lawrence trying to fight him off with the hands. 10 seconds. And time call. The challenge has been demanded by Korea. And I think it might be a tugging of the jersey. That's what they're looking at. So they will go to the review booth. Korea had nothing to lose. They saw that time winding down. Video challenge. Review committee will take a look at the footage. It was the request of the Korean corner that wanted the challenge. Go ahead and take another look. Keep an eye on the Hungarian wrestler. And you can tell by the Korean corner what they want is they thought Lorene's had grabbed onto the jersey as a defense. So this is a critical moment in this match. If Korea is right, it's a caution plus two, and that would give the Korean the lead. If the call on the match is upheld, which is no points, no caution, then that would cost Korea a point. And the challenge is lost. You might have been able to figure that out by the crowd reaction. The flying squirrel by Kim comes up empty, flies into the air a second time. Celebrates a birth in the gold medal.